What brings you here? <laughs> Sai is just sleeping. Did you meet with the resistance? We're just dragging How's the her along. Going? Is it safe for me to come out yet? <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't found you in this freaking tea house yet. But it's a reasonable one. The statue of the omnipresent god is right by the Tenryo Commission. If someone set off fireworks near the statue, they certainly wouldn't ignore it. While they were preoccupied with that, <laughs> Sayu could you. infiltrate the Tenryo Commission <laughs> and take the report, as well as any other evidence she might find. Great! It feels like I'm getting closer and closer to being a free man again. <sighs> it feels like it's been an eternity since we last sat down and talked like this. More hot pot, Toma? Let's focus on the issue at hand. The sooner the Vision Hunt decree is abolished, the sooner Toma will be free. This was a reunion of sorts, but there's no time to catch up. We'll celebrate properly when it's all over. Ooh, let's play the hot pot game again. <laughs> there it is. You're still thinking about that? The Tenryo Commission is heavily guarded. Be careful when you get near. Let's meet back here afterwards. All right. First, let's go to Hanamizaka to find your Nia. We're getting the gang back together. Extra large firework? <laughs> you sure came to the right person. As it happens, I made this really souped up one just a couple days ago. But it's so powerful that I haven't found anywhere I can test it out yet. Huh. May as well give it to you. Let me know how it turns out. Don't forget, move well away from it after you light the fuse. And uh, try to avoid burning your clothes. Also, it's best that you cover your ears. Uh... Uh, why does Paimon feel so nervous all of a sudden? It's about to be a fat ass firework. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just a firework. Come on, what's the worst that could happen? We're gonna blow up the statue, aren't we? We'll give it a try. Thanks, Yaimia. There are loads and loads of people. If one of them spots me, I'll get caught. Don't get caught, Sayu. We need to get rid of them, or I won't be able to sneak inside. We got the firework. After I get the document, let's meet back at Komari Tea House, okay? Also, if I do get caught, please come rescue me. Oh, of course we will. Is this really a good idea? We'll do a second round of Prison Break. Uh, anyway, let's make our way to the statue. Careful does it. Watch out for guards and don't get caught. What kind of firework is this? Oh. By the look of it, I was like, I see me. Oh my god, no. What kind of firework is this? By the look of it, Paimon's ears are gonna get blown off. Oh, Yoimiya. You are officially nuts. Uh oh. They're all coming this way. Quick, run! Alright, we figured out the, the optimal path. Not sure. Well done. Let's wait for news from Sayu. We kind of just ditched her. I hope she didn't get caught. She made it. I know exercise helps you grow, but this was a little too much exercise. I feel so dizzy. Everyone is spinning. No, I can't sleep yet. There was something important I was supposed to do first. Oh, right, yeah, I got it. I didn't know how to find a document you guys were talking about, so I just swiped a whole bunch of stuff that looks suspicious. <laughs> good enough, good enough. Lady Guji, here I am, as promised. Rest assured I came here alone and told no one about this trip. It's been three days already? I don't understand. Not a single word about the resistance, Sangonomia, or the situation on the front line. What about the soldiers who gave their lives on the front line? Or the hardship endured by the people? 
Do they deserve no mention? Mm. Utter disregard for human life. Why would they want to hide it? You see it now, Kujo Sara. For the sake of the vision hunt decree, of course. Don't you think the Shogun might reconsider her policy if all of the things you just mentioned appeared in this report? So, the Tenryo Commission... They are deliberately deceiving the Shogun? Yes. Now, who else do you think might be benefiting from the vision hunt decree? And then check out this secret ass letter I got here. So, everything I've ever held on to... It's all... How could they? Ugh! This betrayal is unforgivable! Takayuki, you've got some explaining to do! Oh, there she goes. Uh, she was kind of our key to this plan, wasn't she? Ma'am, orders from the top. No one is allowed to enter. Oh! Out of my way! I need to speak to him! I won't tell you twice! We get Kujo? We get to play as her? That's sick. She's... Take that. She's defecting! Sorry, needs to get the last hit here. Show me what you've got! I need to train harder. Stop! Sarah, have you gone insane? How dare you disregard my orders? M Master, I... Go on, ask him! Don't let him intimidate you! Master Takayuki, I've seen the report to the throne and the letter to the Fatui. Please, tell me why. So this is how my documents went missing from headquarters. You stole them. No, no, it wasn't Kujo. You hypocrite! Preaching about virtue just to mask your own wretched selfishness! Yes, we're seeing Kujo in her real, in her real thoughts. Uh, hate to say it, but his ego is getting in the way. If he thinks the Kujo clan is a match for the Fatui, Paimon thinks he's in for a nasty surprise. There's no point arguing with this guy. I've doubted the Vision Hunt decree in the past. I asked myself, is this truly the correct thing to do? Even though it goes against what I know in my heart to be right. But I chose to obey the Shogun. For as long as she leads the way, who among us is qualified to judge between right and wrong when we have not yet reached the end of the path? But now I realize that the path of eternity is one without end, while this path, it has long since been defiled by your selfish ways. So I'm going to tell the Shogun the truth about all this. If nothing else, my conscience will be clear. <laughs> Stubborn and futile. Report to the Shogun if you so wish. The Kujo clan's position is now unshakable, and nothing you can do will change this. The Shogun is at Tenshukaku receiving a Shnezhnayan diplomat. A harbinger by the name of Signora. There she is. Here we go. A diplomat from Snezhnaya. Well, if she thinks she's leaving Inazuma in one piece, she's got another thing coming. Oh, yeah. Let's go take her down. Sara stormed off. Do you think she's going to go barge into Tenshukaku right now? By the way, we have a score to settle. The way people charge in here as they please. So uncivilized. Damn, Senora looks so good. Like, like, you know, her model. Not like herself, if you know what I mean. If I didn't know this was Tenshukaku, I might have mistaken it for some kind of street market. Have you learned your lesson now? Oh no, what has she done to Kujo Sara? Not Sara. The right to punish Inazumans for their crimes is mine alone. Not yours, Signora. Then I apologize, almighty Shogun. I know, I know. You can't get me out of your mind. But you really don't need to call my name all the time. Don't go thinking I'm surprised to see you here. I'm well aware that you hate me, with the way you follow me around like a dark shadow. You're secretly distributing delusions. Uh, actually, that was Scaramouche. You're trying to seize control of Inazuma. Ah, so you came to expose my crimes in front of the Shogun? <laughs> I'm just a Snezhnayan diplomat. I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. You know, they're trying to make her seem like a villain. 
But Child wasn't really a villain either. They're just misguided. She doesn't take us seriously at all! Or, you know, they have a reason for why they're doing this. For all who have lost their visions, for all who have been harmed by delusions. Stop talking about people and things that I care nothing about. Yeah, maybe she and Scaramouche have completely different agendas. Scaramouche might actually just be a terrible person. Because <laughs> he, he, he killed our boy Tepe. They were nobodies to begin with, and their names will be forgotten. But now, at least, they get to be building blocks in the grand revolution to realize eternity. Okay, now you're calling them nobodies, which makes me <laughs> retract what I just said. Is that not the greatest honor they could hope for? In their tiny little lives, almighty shogun. Do correct me if I'm wrong. Hmm. Orventi's Gnosis. That's ancient history. <sighs> You certainly love to hold a grudge. The Tsaritsa's dream is the noblest and purest thing in all the world. These other mundane details you insist on mentioning? They're just necessary sacrifices. That's all. It's time for me to put a stop to this. You? Stop me? <laughs> for what it's worth? I've grown tired of seeing you around as well. But I didn't have you down as someone quite so foolhardy. Before you go saying something you can't take back, remember that you're Inazuma's most wanted criminal. I suggest you consider your circumstances very carefully. Charging into Tenshukaku uninvited and lecturing me in front of the Shogun wasn't the brightest move. Don't you think it's time you stopped digging? I'm not sure you realize quite how much distance there is between us, both in status and in strength. I challenge you! They voiced her! <laughs> what? To a duel before the throne. <sighs> Proceed. My, you're full of surprises today. So you've learned to make the law of the land work for you, too. Hmm. I'll admit that I never expected to be in a situation where the two of us were on equal footing. You are aware that the loser must die. Are you sure this is what you want? We're not gonna be killing Senora here, right? That means we're never going to be able to wish for her. <laughs> then I will deign to share this last dance with you. Till death do us part. <laughs> I like that line. A lesson on harbinger power and elegance. <laughs> As Ooh, you wish. That's a cool. That's a cool intro cutscene. Okay, what's this? Oh, she does the freaking hold status. Ooh, her theme song is good. Falling leaves adorn my night. Time to go. The Tsaritsa's benevolence has no place for transgressors. Ooh, nice dodge. Nice dodge. Is there a way to get rid of the cold? Temperature is plummeting. Use elemental reactions to what? Carry an extra instance of Pyro. Oh, this makes it so that you don't have to bring Pyro characters for this. That's nice. It doesn't require you. The pale flame smolders. I need to get my heels back up. Okay, her first form's not too bad. 
<laughs> Rosalind something something. Didn't have enough time. But damn, she looks good. Flame, Whoa, Sayu's dead? Frozen shell and witness my suffering. <laughs> In fires of sin and retribution, your soul will be incinerated. Good dodge. Dance Good dodge. Oh. Embrace your searing reckoning. Okay. I got rid of that, but I don't really know why I need to get rid of it. The it's call. like the opposite of, of whatever it's... Oh no, Sayu died again. No, I don't have any healers. Take this. Take flight. Oh my god, it does three hit 300 damage to me, each just, just standing on this platform. I need to hit her? Wow, that's a really long attack. Not every wound will heal. Okay, I think this prevents us from getting uh Okay, yeah, that prevents the build-up. So much damage. Wind as one with wind and cloud. Ah, you we need your healing. No, Sayu died again. It's the it's the perpetual heat. Wait, can we can we damage her while she's over there? Oh, we can. Okay. Oh no, we can't do anything during this. Oh, we just have to dodge. We can't hit her at all during that. Take this. No. Not every wound will heal. No. All right, this is our last stand. It has to be done with the Traveler. No. No. Stuff your face with hash browns, Traveler. No, it has to be done with the traveler. Maybe I wasn't meant for this. She was one hit away. All right, there we go. So strong, but but how? Hmm. Look at us with our dull blade. I am a Snizhnayan diplomat. You know what happens if you lay a finger on me. I swear, if you strike me, I will make sure... The Fatui will make sure that your precious Inazuma... Stop! I order you! And you! Oh my god, is she really gonna... Filthy rats! Is she really about to end her? Oh my god. You are the enemy of eternity. <sighs> but as the victor, I acknowledge your honor. Therefore, I shall allow you to leave Tenshukaku alive. 
She actually just straight up ended. Uh, ended her. Shogun isn't gonna let us off just like that, right? Oh, the air feels suffocating. It must be the right in Shogun's almightiness. One strike from the Shogun and now Senor is gone! She got what she deserved, but Paimon still can't help but feel upset. Why are they doing it? Why are the Harbingers collecting all the no-seeds? Huh? Traveler, you got a headache? Chin up! Let's get out of this place! Uh, we got quick time events! Unsettled. <laughs> Traveler, are you okay? You're so silent. We're always silent. <sighs> oh, our boy Kazuha's here. <sighs> Oh, it's his friend's vision. There will always be those who dare to brave the lightning's glow. Oh my god, is Kazu a double vision bear now? <laughs> oh, our boy! <laughs> Best character in the game. I do not regret pulling for this guy. Oh no, you guys are walking into it. your death. Back into her domain, her plain of euthymia. So we meet again. This is the real eye. Indulge my curiosity. What is the reason that I find you standing here before me once again? Oh yeah, her manner of speaking is so different. Do you hope your foolhardiness will shelter those people? Or was it simply a means of seeking an audience with me? The Fatui have deceived the Raiden. Oh? <laughs> Surely you didn't rouse me from my state of eternal meditation only to tell me this. <laughs> if so, then you underestimate me. I am quite well informed about the Vision Hunt decree. You know everything that's going on on the outside? Not so. Only everything that pertains to eternity. The Vision Hut decree has my tacit approval. The Fatui's actions thus far do not constitute a threat to eternity. Otherwise, they would have been purged long ago. Comes to a great cost to the people of Inazuma. Individual ambition is inherently incompatible with eternity. What you might not realize is that all too often, people have far more to lose by chasing their dreams. Consider this. No one will lose their life on account of having their vision taken away. Hmm. Debatable. Rather, those who have lost their lives are the ones who insisted on pursuing their own aspirations, are they not? Tepe. Traveler, your existence is unique in my eyes. There seems to be limitless uncertainty in you. To put it another way, you are the furthest thing from eternity. So, I won't insist that you comprehend the meaning of my actions. What matters is that I tread the path of eternity on my people's behalf. This is your plane of euthymia. It is created by your consciousness, yes? That's right. Huh. I'm surprised you understand it so well. Anyway, you're looking for a chance to shake my will. 
Aren't you? I'm not here to debate your ideas, just here to talk to you about my brother. I'm here to... Okay, never mind. I'm here to demolish them. Hmm. So be it. Well then, you who would defy eternity, time for you to enlighten me. Oh no, all my characters are dead. <laughs> oh, they're all healed. Excessive yearning leads to inevitable destruction. Okay, we just dodge. It's that move again. My apologies. This ends now. Wind strike. Clouds high. The birds call. Yeah, I'm gonna start using the iframes to dodge a little bit more. Bellowing thunder. Wind is there. Almost dodged that. Got a dash. In fear. Lightning falls on the land of eternity. Oh no. We gotta destroy one of these. Is oh my Sorry. gosh. Sorry, you! So rude. Oh Stop my goodness. I have the Raiden Shogun is so strong. So hard to dodge. One with wind and cloud. Ooh, I'm out of here. <laughs> Almost dodged that. <laughs> I'm a bit. <laughs> she just one shots you with that st string. Strike dead. Strike. Never again. Oh no. Well, this is not good. Inferior. And we're dead. Okay, round two. <laughs> Do you wish to become the enemy of eternity, traveler? Oh my God, we completely whiffed. Who are an enemy that requires special attention? <laughs> Dude, that combo string just so destroys you. Okay. Regrets. Okay. This is this is over. We're just dead. All right. All right. We're dead again. <laughs> I am dishonored. Yeah. I can't. I, I can't do it. <laughs> Strike dead. No. Almost cut. We really need to focus up. Mm, not an eye frame. Take flight. Sakura swirl. I'm about to die. Can't catch me. Can't catch me. Instabilities will be removed. Take that. Oh, now I can't use. Strike dead. I cannot use uh, any skills. I just dodge. Strike dead. Division yeah. is futile. Inferior. I'm just supposed to dodge. you cutting it rather close hmm Miko this was your doing <sighs> now now don't forget who taught you how to place your consciousness in objects 
Surely you don't think your ambition alone is enough to shake A's will, do you? Though you alone are here, they too have ambitions, which they long since entrusted to you. Now then, close your eyes. <laughs> I hope we can abolish the vision hunt decree. Oh, now we actually have to destroy her. So after the dodging, now we have to beat her. My apologies. Embrace the ice. Adorn my night. Thunderclap. All will be seven. Whirling snow. So rude. Oh. Without yearning, all returns to silence. Coming out to art. Ooh, that was a really strong move. You gotta stay alive, Ayaka. Clouds high. The birds come. Bellowing thunder. Come on out. Whirling snow. Embrace the ice. Your bird is wow. The second form is so much easier. <laughs> you just get to Unga Bunga. So rude. My apologies. Your verdict is decided. I'm out of here. It's because we have the power of our friends. That's why we're so much stronger. Traveler gets the last hit though. All will be settled. All desire can be broken. Oh yeah, we're doing so much more damage. Oh, she just one shot at our traveler. Oh. Our traveler's still alive. Oh, we can't die. <laughs> I see. <laughs> You've lost, eh? <sighs> yes, I have. Why can you not trust your people and in the power of their ambitions? These ambitions have transcended space and time. They are something that no one can snuff out. When people move forward with all their might, can surpass the gods' expectations. Is this the lesson you learned from your journey in Liyue? We did pick that up from our boy Zhongli. There are nations where humans cast their god aside and stride forward. So are we to just abandon the notion of progress for the sake of wishful thinking? You and I have both witnessed the great loss that progress can bring. Eternity. Eternity is the only way. When lightning flashes, it casts a shadow. My name means shadow. With my blade, I purged all obstacles to progress. And yet, something was lost with each step forward. In the end, I even lost her. The tales are still retold in the shade of every Thunder Sakura. But the wounds left on our nation by that terrible loss still ache. 
Never stop searching, even if only for a brief flash of light. If nothing else, we have the present moment. She said that once. But I've seen the nation strike forward and lose everything to the heavenly principles. Oh, she's talking about. Perhaps only if Dr. time stands yeah? still, will the lightning's glow never fade. The present moment is a fragile illusion. Only eternity can bring us closer to the heavenly principles. I am no longer the shadow. Mine is the most supreme and noble form. Let power over the realm be vested within me. In this form shall I honor my subject's dream. For a land of eternity, unchanging forevermore. Heavenly principles. Irrelevant nonsense as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah, Miko just said everything you believe in is a lie. When all said and done, all you really want is to protect your beloved Inazuma forever and ever. Isn't that right? <laughs> that would be something of an oversimplification. But is this nation worth existing for eternity? Stripped of ambitions, stripped of the potential for change. It does nothing more than simply... exist. It is a hollow shell of a nation. Hmm. I wonder what loss would it really be to anyone if such a nation were destroyed? Miko, retract your words. Never changing eternity is the promise I made to my people. But what your people need from you is not your promises. They want your attention. Your divine gaze. <laughs> You mean visions? Humans have a lifespan of barely a hundred years. They cannot afford to bear any extra losses. But I have experienced it all. That is why I have chosen to guide them along the correct path toward eternity. Oh. <sighs> but eternity is far too cruel a fate for you, eh? <sighs> for me? Not only have you stopped paying attention to the world, but you have stopped paying attention to yourself. It must have been terribly lonely here, all alone, for centuries on end. But it is necessary. He will miss much by refusing progress. You seek to prevent loss, but have you considered all you are losing by remaining here in stasis for all eternity? You are obviously lonely. And yet, for the sake of eternity, you choose to stretch your loneliness out to infinity. Tell me this. Why is the sky here that was once so dark glowing again? Why now? This is your plane of euthymia. It's your inner world. So it can only mean... that you are happy to see me again. You have found the loneliness here unbearable for a long time now, haven't you? I... Uh, have nothing to say to that. <laughs> But I have so much to say to you. Let me tell you all that has happened over the last few centuries. <laughs> How long will that take? As a fox envoy, I have an excellent memory. I recall every detail of the last few centuries with perfect clarity. So it will probably take me another few centuries to relay it to you. <laughs> <sighs> Miko... I never thought I would have the chance to meet with you like this again. <sighs> Seeing you again is a change to eternity. And a very nice surprise. <laughs> Since you are willing to admit that, I suppose that means we can still be friends? <laughs> what a childish conversation this is. Anyway... Now that I have been defeated by you and your plan, I will honor your wish to abolish the Vision Hunt Decree. Mission accomplished. But, with regards to eternity, and the question of whether this nation should move forward, I need time to give it some thought. Please just don't take another hundred or so years. <laughs> <laughs> you are the one who's been acting like a child from the very beginning. 
As promised, the Raiden Shogun abolished the Vision Hunt Decree. Finally, her people's wishes penetrated her locked heart. Beyond the plane of Euthymia, she saw what eternity means in the eyes of the world. When one's fervent ambition burns brightly, the gods will cast their gaze upon you. Some ambitions have the power to heal wounds, to bring victory, to inspire hope. But some ambitions outlive their masters long after the soul ascends. They remain as they were in the beginning. Burning bright and true for all eternity. I totally just noticed Paimon was not there the entire time. <laughs> I did not notice she was gone. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> Is the Vision Hunt Decree abolished? It's all thanks to Yai Miko. Oh, gotcha. Paimon was super worried, you know. So maybe the reason Yai Miko is looking for us now is because she wants to thank us. Let's go find her. Why, hello. If it isn't the Triumphant Traveler. And why might you be visiting the shrine? A sign of piety, perhaps. You literally told us to come meet you here! <laughs> I was just joking. I've been waiting for you. Seems like someone's in a pretty good mood. Mm-hmm. Catching up with an old friend I hadn't seen in years was truly delightful. Not just years, like hundreds. <laughs> By the way, I heard that you had a duel before the throne. With a Fatui Harbinger, no less. Courageous and astute. I must say, I am most impressed. <laughs> it was a spur of the moment kind of thing. Defeating Signora head on in a duel means that your strength exceeds my expectations. Still, you did end up victorious. I gather congratulations are in order. I still can't believe she's actually dead. I don't know if I believe that. Wait a second. Did you say Gnosis? As in, the little thing that looks something like a chess piece? Yep, that's the one! You've seen one too? Gnosis belong to the Seven. They're what keep them connected to Celestia. Oh. W what's wrong? I doesn't have it. <laughs> I handed that over. <laughs> huh? You did what now? Well... How else was I supposed to save your skin from the Balladeer, exactly? Oh, that's what she did. The Gnosis is long gone, then. The Balladeer is number six of the Fatui Harbingers. In terms of strength, he's superior to Signora. He's superior? I'm not the kind of person who risks life and limb for any old reason. Yeah, why were you holding the Gnosis? After A created her puppet vessel, she no longer had anywhere to put it. Okay. Understandable. As her erstwhile closest friend, A handed it over to me. And I've kept it in the Grand Narukami Shrine ever since. She no longer needs the power of the Gnosis, and in any case, she tells me she has severed ties with Celestia. Thus, the Gnosis became not only useless, but also a potential source of conflict. Ah. Uh, hmm. The mystery behind the Gnosis is just getting, like, more and more entangled and interesting. Is that not a good bargain? Exchanging it for the one at the core of the plan? 
Judging by the results, at least, I dare say I struck a good deal. <laughs> uh, when you put it like that, Paimon has to agree. The Traveler is worth more than a Gnosis. And no wonder we haven't seen Scaramouche since. <sighs> well, what's done is done. And I hardly think we'll be getting it back now. Let's leave the past in the past. Um, so anyway, you still haven't told us why you called us here today. <laughs> it's to thank you. Really? You intend to travel all over to Vat. And the time has come for the Inazuma leg of your trip to come to an end, has it not? As a mark of my gratitude, I will answer any questions you may have about the road ahead or the events of the past. Oh, please tell us about the next area. What would you like to know about? About the Shogun that puppet. That puppet was built with technology that has been lost to time. Perhaps she, as a god, is the only one privy to the knowledge of its origins. Still, there is one other thing on this topic that I suspect you may be curious to know. Before A began modifying her own godly form, she took it upon herself to create a prototype puppet. So, you mean there are three riding shokens? No, the prototype was merely a proof of concept. Its appearance and intellect were not based on A, it was a test. The original plan was for A to simply discard it. But perhaps A thought this to be too cruel, because in the end, she chose only to seal the power within it. Later, this puppet wandered Inazuma as an ordinary human male with his own consciousness. Until... the Fatui took an interest in him. Oh, snap! So... We're gonna run into this guy soon. Ugh! Not the Fatui! Some eccentric geniuses in the ranks of the Fatui made adjustments to the prototype. Not only unsealing his power, but very likely rendering him even more formidable than his original specifications. Surely you don't mean... who? Who? Mm-hmm. The object of divine creation is now the one who has taken possession of the Gnosis. And the prototype puppet is now known as... the Balladeer. What the heck? Scaramouche is the prototype? What the heck? What the... What a crazy story! It is, isn't it? Who can say whether it's coincidence or destiny? About the former Raiden. I'm surprised an outlander like you is aware that there was once a change of Electro Archon. Few citizens of Inazuma are aware of this. Morax told us. He said that the Electro Archon Ball has passed away. Yes. The truth of the matter is that there were two twin gods, Ball and Beelzebul. Twin gods? Oh, Ball's gone. They won the Archon War together, and when Ball established the Shogunate, Beelzebul became her Kagemusha, or Shadow Warrior. In other words, she acted as Ball's body double. Beelzebul is A, with whom we are now both acquainted. Ball's name was Makoto. Makoto and Beelzebul. That uh, sounds like they're trying to say Beelzebub. I don't know. Is that a, is that a mistranslation? As far as the world was aware, there were not two, but one. They complemented each other, and they ruled Inazuma jointly. So there was no need for the public to know the truth. In fact, the name Ball and the title of Raiden Shogun was understood to refer to both of them. Oh. Right up until... It's making sense now. Until what? Makoto died several hundred years ago in a war that I was not personally involved in. Since then, A has assumed the Shogunate. Oh, it only happened a couple hundred years ago? Losing her sister must have been super hard on A. Oh, there it is. Conria. That was when A began to change. Makoto was her greatest loss. Paimon feels like she understands A a lot better now after finding that out. So what kind of god was Makoto? I didn't spend a great deal of time with her, but my impression was she was a gentle god who in each moment cherished the beauty of what was before her. Wow. Damn. Okay, about my brother. Sorry, I haven't a clue. <laughs> I'm also unfamiliar with the god you described. Yeah, I wouldn't expect you to. But if you still have doubts about A, I would say they are misplaced. Not only does she not fit your description, but she voluntarily gave up her gnosis long ago, severing her ties with Celestia in the process. 
Having met her, I don't believe she was the one. That's good to hear. Otherwise, given that I'm her familiar, it could have made our relationship rather awkward, don't you think? Don't worry. We aren't looking to pick a fight with you. <laughs> I wish you the best of luck. May you soon discover the truth behind it all. It's probably going to be the last area, which is Shneznaya. <laughs> As for your brother's whereabouts, I will use all the resources at my disposal to investigate it. And I will also borrow some of Ayato's people from the Shiumatsuban. Dude, Ayato has got to be a new character. I really hope he is. I'll let you know if I find out anything. Consider it part of my means of thanking you. The next step of our journey. After leaving Inazuma, hmm... I think it would be easiest for you to go to Sumeru. There it is, Sumeru. I believe it's based off of Middle East. Ooh, Sumeru! We've run into loads of scholars from there on our journey so far. And I think it's based around Pyro? Because Fontaine is Hydro, so... Yes, well, Sumeru is the land of the God of Wisdom, where the quest for wisdom and knowledge is never-ending. Ah... But their obsession gives rise to some truly inexplicable things. For example, in Sumeru, knowledge is holistically managed as a resource. Knowledge is a resource? Yes. I don't know whether it was the sages or Lesser Lord Kusanali who came up with the idea. Lesser Lord Kusanali? That's a cute name! <laughs> oh, you haven't heard. Lesser Lord Kusanali is the deity in whom the people of Sumeru place their faith. It's their chosen term of endearment for her. I'm sure you must have some things to discuss with her too. I wish you all the best. I have no more questions. Are you sure? Okay then. Oh, Traveler. Do you still have the Omamori I gave you? Of course. I'll keep it safe. Keep it safe? Is that all you intend to do with it? There was me thinking that you might hang it around your neck to show off to the world, telling everyone who inquired that it was given to you by none other than Yai Miko, the wise and beautiful. Who in their right mind would do that? <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Now, a question for you. Traveler, what is your ambition? What do you mean, I guess? It is totally to be reunited with my brother. I see. But that is merely a small goal, based on what preoccupies you here and now. Your ambition should be something that transcends the world below and the starry sky above. Something that shines in unison with fate itself. Perhaps the reason you do not possess a vision is that such an ambition has yet to be engendered within you. It's a possibility. Continue on your journey, and maybe that moment will come to pass. Sacred Sakura Blue. 